Hi there and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm just going to share with you um, how easy it is to make an envelope mini album. So what I have here is three DL envelopes, which are just your standard envelopes, um, your business envelopes, which are quite handy to use. Um, and then all you're going to do is take the flap of each envelope and adhere it to the back of the next one. So you're going to go do that with your two and then your third is going to have its own flap. Okay, then to cover the inside we're just going to cut some designer series paper and just to the size of that panel and what I've done is I've just stuck the flap that lifts up underneath. So you're going to have three panels of designer series paper that will fit across um, that front panel and then some more designer series paper just to cover the inside of the envelope there and you can see there that it doesn't go all the way down just um, for a little bit of prettiness. So those strips are about two inches wide. Um, these ones are roughly three, three and a quarter inches by eight and a half. So three and a quarter inches by eight and a half and two inches by eight and a half for the inserts there. Then I'm actually making this for a friend who had a baby. So then we just um, concertina fold that in and I have done a plain panel with an extra flap to cover the front there. For the inside, we've just taken a piece of um, pink pirouette cardstock and cut it in thirds, then attached the top note die. I've used the frames with flourish to create the little journaling spot as well as the frame for the um, little life definition there along with the top note die and this little elephant and this are the pieces so just pop a photo on there add some journaling and Bob's your uncle right so the other thing I'm going to do just to finish it off is just put a little belly band around the front and I'm going to use some tempting turquoise like so and one of my favourite stamp sets that's retiring which is what's it called? playful petals. So what I'm going to do here is just not some pink. I'm going to grab some pixie pink ink, give my stamp pad a little bit of a squeeze so that I've got a pool of ink there. Grab my aqua painter and starting with this side I'm just going to colour this flower I scribble off to get the colour out of the aqua painter so that I'm ready for my next colour and that's what makes tools like these so versatile you can use them over and over again um, for the end I think I'm going to use some summer sun. Do that around these petals. Colours that are in the designer paper as well. Paper as well. 
Now this will be a little bit of a mission because we don't want it to go orange and we don't want it to go purple. So a little bit more delicate in here. The other thing is that the um, aqua painters actually come in a two pack, one with a fine tip and one with a medium tip. Usually I'm a Kiwi Kiss kind of girl, but I just think it's a little too yellowy for this. It's had a bit of a chance to dry. Okay, so I'll be back in a jiffy when this is all cut out. Okay, so I've got those three elements to the flower cut out. And now I've just decided that I'm going to add a strip of designer series paper just for a little bit of added interest. Um, and I'm just going to ink the edges using the sponge and the white craft ink. Adding a little bit there. Okay, so that is going to sit on there. envelopes is that you can use any size um, and you'll get a different result each time. Um, let me see, did I have some samples here? We made, um, for Mother's Day this year, we made a teeny tiny one. I'll find it for you in a minute. Okay, so just by adding that strip of paper, we've added an extra little bit of interest. And... I shouldn't have done that because I needed to get that flower on first. Right. Oh, you know what else would look cute there? A little bit of ribbon. over right then right over left okay left over right then right over left all that give it a trim now silly me I have sealed this up, but I'm sure we can work with that. Put that down a little bit. 